You're listening to an archived Cabral Concept podcast. After listening to this show, check out the most up-to-date podcasts available at stephencabral.com slash podcasts or search directly on iTunes. And now, welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner Dr. Stephen Cabral shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Excited you could join me today on our first of two Cabral House Calls. We do these each and every weekend. It's our way of being able to kind of give back and just be able to answer people's questions. Maybe we'll never get to speak with these people in the real world, whether that's in Boston or over Skype. But here's the nice thing, is that for a lot of people, all we need to do is get you started on the right track. We just need you moving in the right direction. And sometimes just a simple answer maybe can get you in that right direction, going in that right direction. So I'm excited to be able to hopefully help with that. We'll work on these wellness-based issues, the body transformation, the specific protocol-based questions, all of those things. And you know, I think what you'll see is a lot of these today, and I've talked about it before, but I just want to make sure that you get the help that you need and deserve, is that I don't want you to wait the 10 to 12 weeks for me to answer this on a weekend house call. What I'd love for you to do is kind of check in on cabralsupportgroup.com, completely free Facebook group. Just go to cabralsupportgroup.com. That URL will forward you right over there. And you can ask those questions and get them answered pretty much the same exact day, Monday through Friday. So what I want to do, I'll give an example of that with this first one. And I'm always happy to help. I really am. But my goal now is to say, okay, I have the book, The Rain Barrel Effect, which really goes in depth with how I help people get well from a functional medicine perspective, like how you ended up here and then how to get better. All right. That's what that book goes in detail about. And I'll be teaching a lot of that book in depth with my upcoming health coach certification this fall. And again, you never have to become a health coach. Even if you want to be able to practice this just in your own life and with your family, that's what this is going to be about as well. I want everyone, everyone in each family for there to be one head of the household that's kind of like the medicine man or medicine woman to go to. Like, that's what I want. And, and we need that in each family, right? So that you can be the go-to person. We're like, hey, I'm experiencing this. What do you think I should do? And maybe you are not a certified health coach or any of those things, but you now will have the education to be able to tell them either what lab they might want to run, what nutritional supplement they want, might want to use, what protocol to follow, or a lot of times it's just lifestyle-based, right? You'll be able to get them back on track with proper eating, proper exercise, proper mindset, all of those things. So, so excited to be able to do that. I don't even know how I got onto that topic, but essentially, I think what I was saying is that there's really an avenue to go down for all of this. And the book is in depth. We'll be going even more depth in the certification. The podcast teaches one specific part of natural health every day. So hopefully you're going back and listen to previous podcasts. And then the weekend host calls are, are really my job to go in depth and talk about each question for probably about three minutes or so. And that then allows, I think, more people to learn from others' questions. So hopefully this helps. Let's get into the questions. So the first question today is from Kara. She started saying, I started your candida and bacterial overgrowth protocol about six weeks ago. Everything was going well until I stopped using the Saccharomyces boulardii. I started the second probiotic for about a week and got off because I didn't feel right. My symptoms returned. So my question is, where should I go from here? Can I go back to the first probiotic since it was working? Also, what does that say about what's going on with me in the first place if the first probiotic worked and then the second symptom seemed to return? Thanks. Okay, Carrie, that's a great question. And again, feel free to ask this in the support group or of course, I'm happy to answer that. But your question came in on March 13th. And of course, we're about uh, three months behind, right? April, May, June now. So here's what happened though. Saccharomyces boulardii is sometimes referred to as a probiotic but really, it's a beneficial yeast. And it's a yeast that helps to displace the candida and the more pathogenic strains called candida albicans. And the other ones, uh, there are actually seven main strains. There are others besides that in the gut. So what was happening was that the Saccharomyces boulardii was helping to displace a lot of the candida while using the other products. And then when you started our second probiotic or just the first real probiotic, even though it's a single strain, that you most likely already have a lot of bacterial overgrowth in your gut. And this is why I tell people, 
run the organic acids test or run the stool test or ideally run both and you'll get to see. So what we recommend is we can add in more Saccharomyces boulardii for now, or what we can do is continue to use the Candida and bacterial overgrowth protocol, the herbal-based products and the, ba- and the biofilm disruptors will continue to remove a lot of the bacterial overgrowth and excess. I would most likely add in what's called, it's a product called um, citricidal drops, and you can ask my team how to use those specifically. And then what happens from there is then you can slowly start to add in that first single strain probiotic, and that will allow you to repopulate the gut. Now, again, why did that happen to you? Most likely, you already have bacterial overgrowth. It was just too soon. And not that it is not right. It's just too soon. And the second part is this. You might have slow bowel motility, which means you might trend more towards constipation or things just not moving quickly through your intestines. When that happens, those people are more prone to getting SIBO in the first place. So we need to work on that bowel motility. What can we do to get those bowels moving once or twice per day? Really important Work on that specifically, and you will have your answer. Luke's up next. Luke is asking, hi, I'm wanting to get your opinion on the 7, 14, or 21-D detox plan. I'm a 26-year-old male who lifts weights four times a week, so I'm not looking to lose much weight, but I'm looking for a deep detox as I suffer from gut issues. So what would you recommend as the best cleanse for that? That would be beneficial for gut health issues. Okay, great question. The functional medicine detox is the Dr. Ball detox that I'm talking about is a 7, 14, or 21 day. Now, that's great for cleaning the blood, getting the body healthier, lowering inflammation, rebalancing uh, hormones, improving skin, anything to do with health of the body. But it's not a bowel-based cleanse, right? So gut-based issues, if you just want to do an intestinal cleanse, we have an amazing new intestinal cleanse, and it's $50 less per month, which is great. We love being able to offer you and pass along discounts when we're able to do that. And so since we know that a lot of people doing our candida and bacterial overgrowth protocol, our parasite protocol, our Dr. Ball detox, they do a lot of times an intestinal cleanse after it or even halfway through that we wanted to lower the price. And we were able to do that by eliminating one of the products, which was a specific probiotic, because a lot of people on our protocols are not using that specific probiotic. Makes sense. We'll just take out the probiotic, lower the price. And then if you want to use the probiotic, you can always do that as an add-on. So Luke, if you're looking to kind of like flatten out the belly and remove excess toxins in the bowels, the intestinal cleanse is fantastic for that. Simple five-day intestinal cleanse, really, really easy to do. The people in our practice love it, and that includes all the online people who purchase it, obviously, as well. So really easy to do. You don't need to take time off from work or anything like that. It doesn't cause you to run to the bathroom, nothing like that at all. Really, really amazing. So that's that. That's the answer on that. The detox is more for overall health and it does help with weight loss. But again, you can do the Dr. Ball detox like I do it now when you're not trying to lose weight. You could do smoothies instead of just the water and powder, or you can just simply um, do a seven or 14 day and then add uh, and just add the weight back on, meaning like it's easy to put the weight back on the body after the detox is over. So you get the benefits and then do that. Okay. And just for your own knowledge, I'm actually going to do the Dr. Ball detox myself a seven day right before 4th of July. So if you want to do it with me, order this week. That would be a lot of fun. I'll actually post it in the Facebook group at cabralsupportgroup.com. And that that is going to be starting, I'm starting mine on June 25th. Yep, June 25th. That's it. So that's when I'll be doing it. And I think what's today, the weekend on the 16th, if you order today, yeah, you should get it by next Friday, right? Definitely by hopefully uh, June 22nd. So anyway, it'd be a lot of fun. I'm doing mine on June 25th. Okay, so let's move on. Next person is Kirsten. Kirsten's asking, hey, I would like to get certified as a nutritionist or a healthy coach. Is there a program that you would recommend? Kirsten, I've recommended a bunch of programs in the past. You can simply go to stephencabral.com forward slash podcast and type in certification. If you do that, you will see all of my previous recommendations on certification, a bunch Precision Nutrition, Institute for Functional Medicine, a bunch of them out there, right? All great, all great. We are coming out with our own though to teach you exactly how I practice, how I've taught my health coaches and how I plan to train the next wave, I believe, of health practitioners out there. I really believe it. I believe that we can't just practice green medicine, that we just don't want to treat people as a number. We don't want to give them kind of static and stale protocols. We want to learn the art of health coaching. 
the art of natural medicine, which means taking in a person's symptoms, taking in their story as a human, then deciding if you want to run labs or not. That's totally your choice as a practitioner and then helping people get well. So that will be debuting this fall, 2018. I hope that you'll join us, Kirsten. And if you don't, yeah, that's okay as well. Like that's not, my goal is not to, not to force you into any one pattern of thinking. So that's why I've recommended close to a half a dozen other certifications in the past. I've gone in depth on those. Just type in certification at stephencabral.com forward slash podcast. But look for more information on the podcast coming late this summer for, we're hoping a September launch of our new health coaching certification. So excited about that. Rachel's up next. What can I do if I'm always cold? My hands and feet turn purple a lot. Thank you for your work and your podcast. I listen often, but haven't made my way through all. So not sure if you've addressed my questions. Thank you very much. Rachel, I have addressed this question, but I'm happy to answer it again. So here's a lot of people call this rainoids or rainids disease. And essentially we call these things a disease. They're not a disease. They're capillary constriction or restriction, less blood flow to the extremities. Why? Because typically there's some type of inflammatory autoimmune-based condition or condition or just inflammatory-based issue, or there's some type of increased sympathetic nervous system dominance. When that happens, there's a constriction, restriction, closing up of the blood vessels near the fingers or feet. Makes sense, right? So if there's a constriction, restriction, closing up, well, the blood flow simply can't flow down there. Now, again, in medicine, I joked about this last week, I believe on Wednesday's podcast, we can never give something a simple term, right? Well, here's what you have. You have constriction of the capillaries near your fingers. No, instead, we need to call it, you have Raynaud's disease. Oh, okay, so I have this disease. Great, now what do I do? Well, nothing, really. So how does that help people? It does not, okay? We don't need to give things fancy names. What we need to do is tell people what's going on and how to fix that. So my number one recommendation for anyone with rainids or anyone who's always cold, especially in the hands and feet, and especially if they're cold in the warm weather, is that you need to run the thyroid hormone adrenal panel, okay? That's the number one. Thyroid adrenal hormone, number one. Why? Because it's going to look at your cortisol, estrogen, progesterone, DHEA, testosterone, plus it's going to look at your thyroid. TPO antibodies, TSH, T4, T3. It's going to look at your vitamin D. It's going to look at your insulin and hemoglobin A1C. I think I've run that like a thousand times. So that's number one. And then I would look probably, I would probably look at the starter kit after that, which is the organic acids test and the hair tissue mineral analysis. But if you can only run one, you run the first one. If you can do two, then you'll run the organic acids test. And if you can do three, then you'll add on the hair tissue mineral analysis. I hope that that helps and that will move you in the right direction to healing whatever your underlying root causes are. Okay. John is up next. To whom it may concern, I'm interested in having a test taken for my APOE genotype in beginning a regimen for heart health. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. John, happy to answer this. You wrote it in on March 15th. Again, this is not your fault. This is my fault. I should have done a better job explaining this, and I also had no idea how many questions we were getting on the Ask Cabral website page. So because of that, I, I just, honestly, I fell behind. I had no idea. I'm not able to answer questions any faster. I wish I could. Maybe when I'm able to, what are they, the, the uh, artificial intelligence and I can kind of just like be able to be in two places maybe at once or something like that, that I could answer these questions, which actually would be kind of fun. I could just, you know, see all these answers coming out. But here's the deal. For the APOE genotype, I am recommending the DNA test that we recommend. And why? Because the APOE is one part of your entire genetics. Remember, like your B12 vitamins don't define your energy, right? They don't define Alzheimer's. Just like your folate doesn't define your methylation gene. And APOE doesn't necessarily define all of your inflammatory-based markers, right? Because you might have food sensitivities. You might have uh, high cortisol. You might have all these different things. So I recommend, yes, the APOE genotype comes along with the DNA test that we offer. And so I'm going to link that up. Now, remember, just want to put a caveat out there. All of the lab tests that we offer are not ours. They're through other companies, right? And we never offer one company. And the reason is there is no one lab company that's the best at everything. We use a lab company right now for our DNA testing, and that's all they do. They're great at one thing. They're the best in the world at one thing. And they give you a 99 report, 99 page report of just your health. It's not 23andMe. It's not these other cute ones that you see on Instagram. This is a legit 
functional medicine, DNA genetics based wellness report. It is absolutely amazing. And you can find that at the link today. Just go to stephencabral.com forward slash 862. That's today's show notes, 862. All the links will be there. This is the same lab report, by the way, I gave to my parents for a gift. My wife and I have both done it. We use it all the time in my practice. So that's the one that I recommend. Again, this would be a great question to ask at cabralsupportgroup.com because they would just link that up right there. All right. Lauren's up next. This is a very long question. It's actually not that bad. I just, uh, I'm joking around today. Been, I think I've been talking now for about 10 hours or 12 hours. So I'm just in the, the flow of talking a lot. But Lauren, what I'm going to do is everyone can read Lauren's question in full by going to stephencabral.com forward slash 862. I'm going to give you the main gist of this question, and then you can follow along and read it in depth if you would like, especially if you're a health practitioner and you want to look at this as somewhat of a case study, okay? So Lauren's uh, writing in saying she's looking for some help and relief. She's sorry about the lengthy question. That's okay, Lauren. She's 22. She's been suffering with some issues such as PCOS, so she doesn't get her period. Her hormones, she says, are out of whack. She constantly has stomach bloating. She's feeling very heavy and hold on to a lot of fluid. She's been diagnosed with IBS and SIBO, and she can go days with constipation. She's tried various diet plans, and she's tried exercise. She's tried acupuncture and Reiki and gynecologists and nutritionists and Chinese medicine doctors, elimination diets. She's had a tolerance. She has a very high tolerance for pain, but lately she's looking bloated every single day. She's trying to figure out how to remove the bloating. She was listening to podcasts that I was on and thought that I would have some hope for her to be able to help and just finishes by writing, thank you for your time. So Lauren, believe it or not, and I know that you're um, a recent listener, that I've talked about this many times, and that we can easily help you with this. Now, this does not mean, when I say easily, or I'm joking around a little bit, it's only because I talked about this on last Monday's podcast, is that we be, we have to start to take our life a little less heavy and a little less serious. And the other reason why I sometimes keep a little lighter mood is that everything in my work is very, very heavy, right? I'm working with people with the worst, the worst. They're always telling me, which is totally fine that, you know, like this is the last stop. I'm just want to do whatever you say. I'm not doing anything else. I'm not trying anything else after this. So I, again, but the nice thing is this, is that if this was eight years ago, I might fi- feel a lot more pressure, but we've just seen thousands and thousands of people, 250,000 plus appointments. And this is a very straightforward case for us. So Lauren, this is what I would do is I would run, well, if you're able to run the Dr. Ball Big Five lab test, I would do that. That was going to give you everything you need. I mean, that's the, that's the creme de la creme, right? That's what it is. Like, that's the best of the best. If you can't do that, I'm going to give you the lab tests in order of importance for you. All right. So Lauren, hopefully you're listening to this. I know that you wrote it in on 315. I wish I could help you sooner. I really do. I sincerely mean that. But here's what I recommend. All right. So first things first, you're going to run the organic acids test. Second, you're going to run the stool test. I know that you're willing to do an elimination diet. So I'm not recommending the food sensitivity test. Third, organic acids test, then stool test. Number three is the thyroid hormone adrenal test. Or if you can't afford adding on the thyroid, although I would, I would do the adrenal hormone. After that, so those are my top three, okay? Those are my top three. After that, you could run the food sensitivity test and the hair tissue mineral analysis. The reason why I'm not naming the omega-3, although it would be great for you and I would like you to do it, again, as part of the big five, is simply because I'm adding the stool test in as an add-on to the Dr. Ball Big Five. And the reason is, I just know that there's some type of bacterial overgrowth, candida overgrowth, H. pylori. There's something going on that when we find it, then we know how to remove it. So again, you've suffered long enough. Let's figure it out, right? Organic acids test, stool test first. If you can only run two labs, those are the two. We'll help you from there, okay? And again, listen back to that answer, and I know that you'll be able to figure out what it is that you need to get started. All right, let's do one more question today. It's from Leslie. It's a long one as well. So again, just go to stevencabral.com forward slash 862. You'll find all the questions there and also any lab tests, any products that I may have mentioned today on the podcast will all be linked up there. I'm actually putting a note for myself right there. And today's show notes are 862. Okay, my notes are now complete. So Leslie is asking, Hello from London. I'm a recently qualified nutritionist. Absolutely loving your podcast. I love your dedication and enthusiasm. And they give hope that our profession can truly help people. Thank you so much for sharing your vast knowledge. 
and I learn something new every time. I'm writing in regards to a 10-year-old boy suffering from migraines. Here are symptoms, bad headaches on one side, extreme tenderness, headaches on the left side, extreme tenderness across the entire body and transgeminal nerve, can't even have his face touched, extreme fatigue, very heavy feeling in his head, sinus stiffness or stuffed sinuses. They've done various tests. They've tried various medications. Nothing has made a difference. Okay, let me see what they tried. Antibacterials, they've tried nerve blocks, they've tried steroids, they tried anti-inflammatories, they've tried anti-convulsives, they've tried some psychological. Headaches started after a bout of stress due to high-pressure training in soccer. He was pulled out of the program. His mother believes the suffering was from a virus. Uh, That's what I'm leaning to as well, Leslie. My intuition is that the immune system was under enormous stress and that EBV and herpes zosters, I agree with you. That's where I was leaning as well. Herpes uh, zoster basically is a nervous system inflammation that comes from herpes that uh, affects one side of the face. Be grateful for any input. As an aside, one of the reasons you are my favorite podcast is that I'm originally a Massachusetts native. Listening to you in Boston is a real treat. As you may have guessed from my name, I have a Portuguese heritage too. My website, thank you for the credentials. All right, great. So here's what I'm looking at. Okay. I lean towards what you're leaning at right now, Leslie. I think that this may be viral based. Please tune into my podcast on herpes zoster. Go to stephencabral.com forward slash podcast. Type in herpes zoster. Type in herpes in general. Look at, oh, I have a great podcast on this. Um, I did this a little later. It's called how to destroy any virus or something like that. It was on a Total Wellness Tuesday. Oh, there it is right there. Sometimes it's just fortuitous. I don't know how I was just scrolling through 860-something podcasts, and I jumped right to 760. This was meant to be right here. How to Destroy Viruses, Herpes, and Shingles, Episode 760. Please, if you're dealing with herpes of any kind, check out Episode 760. That is literally complete research on how I help people heal from Epstein-Barr, herpes, cold sores, shingles, chicken pox, you name it. Check that out first, but also have this child run a hair tissue mineral analysis right away, like right away. I want to make sure that there's no heavy metal because remember, so a lot of these kids are also affected by pesticides. You can run a toxicity test. You can run a hair tissue mineral analysis. They've done full research and journal reports on the toxicity being sprayed on all these athletic fields. They spray it with pesticides. Kids are exposed to it. That can create nerve-based damage. 10 years old is too young to do the Dr. Well Detox, but I want you reading or checking out my last Tuesday podcast on children's health A to Z. Check that out, okay? So many tests would be great to run. Toxicity test, hair tissue mineral analysis, organic acids test. Those are my top three first. I would also look at omega-3 levels to make sure there's enough omega-3s, not too many omega-6s. That's what I would do. I mean, really, forget about the battery of blood work. Run the battery of subclinical lab tests to figure out what this is. And at the same time, begin with those herpes-based protocols that I spoke about. You know, the zinc, the AC, the vitamin C that I talk about, the L-lysine. Check those out. Again, I do nothing, right? I literally, I do not cure disease. I don't treat disease. All I do is put the body in position to heal itself. That's it. It's all I do. I look for it in functional medicine lab tests. When I find it, I know what to do because I've spent, I've spent my entire life reading and researching over 3,000 books, over 250,000 appointments. All I'm doing is putting the body in position to heal. I don't do anything. The human body does all the healing. So when I tell you that I've helped people recover from this, this, and this, I've done nothing. I've helped people put their own body in position to heal, and then their body has healed itself. That's it. And it's not even my work. It's my work assimilated from 3,000 plus other amazing doctors and healers from the beginning of recorded history from 6,000 years ago. The way maybe I put it together is my work, right? If I can pass one thing onto the world, that's my work. It's my work to be able to assimilate and just read volumes of books because for whatever reason, that's just one gift I was given is to be able to mass consume information and just put it into what I believe is a easy to digest format, right? But the information was given to me and I'm passing it on to you. So again, whenever I say I've helped people to do this, this, and this, it's always from the position of gratitude that I'm in this position of being blessed to be able to do this. And also it's the understanding that I do nothing. All healing takes place from within the body. And if we understand this, then we can remember that it's not our job to even heal ourselves. It's our job to figure out what the underlying root causes are 
and then put that body in position to heal by removing the toxicities, like in this 10-year-old boy's case, and replacing the deficiencies as well. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please do feel free to pass it on to anyone you believe it could serve. And don't forget, every Saturday and Sunday, we answer our community's questions, right? Your questions, our community's questions each and every weekend. Take care. Thank you so much for tuning in. I do appreciate you. Do appreciate each and every one of your listens. Ever wonder what the best sauna, blue blockers, sleep trackers, wake lights, salt lamps, or other health gadgets are? Or what about the top non-toxic mattresses, sheets, soaps, bath products, toothpaste, and cookware? Or would you like to know the cleanest choices for hemp parts, meal delivery services, supplements, and much more? I personally curated, researched, and now created a resource page of all of my top picks that continues to grow each week. These are the exact products I use in my own life, with my family, in my private practice, and they're the ones I trust. To find out all of my up-to-date recommendations and all the details, simply head on over to stephencabral.com forward slash resources.